Hello, and welcome to the final tutorial in a series of tutorials by Vision of Flight on how to fly the Boeing 767. As you can see, we've just about reached the top of the set, so I've set the MCP altitude to zero, so that way, once we do reach the top of the set, as we are now, the plane will start descending on its own. Since there's not much for us to do right now, I'm just going to show you how to set up a few things on the FMC, and then I'll join you again once we're closer to the final approach. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Approach Ref page, and select a VREF or landing speed. In this case, I believe the runway we're landing on is fairly long, so we'll choose the middle one. 25 degree flaps with a VREF speed of 134 knots. And insert that here. The next thing we need to do is input the ILS frequency and course into the ILS control panel here. However, it's a bit touchy in the virtual cockpit, so we're going to use the 2D panel, which can be brought up with Shift-8. So let's input that. Frequency is 110.75. And the course is 002. And with that done, there's really not much else to do until we get close to the final approach. Um, the only thing you might need to do is mess with the speed brake here if the plane needs to slow down a lot, but again, that's generally not needed until you get much closer to the airport. So I'll join you again once we're closer to final approach. See you then. We've almost reached the airport, so make sure that the landing altitude is set and all other systems are properly configured for landing. Also, as you get closer and closer, try to make visual contact with the runway. One other thing you may need to do is set all the speeds for the approach. As you can see here, I'm gradually slowing down the plane. Once this magenta marker starts moving, engage the localizer hold. Once the localizer has engaged, engage approach mode. Now that we're on final, lower the landing gear and extend the flap. Set the speed hold to VREF, and turn on the landing lights. I won't be talking to you during the actual landing, so I'll tell you what to do ahead of time. Pull the auto land down to right before you touch the ground, then disengage the autopilot, land the plane in the last few seconds, and then engage reverse thrust, brakes, and turn on the speed brakes. Speaking of brakes, you're going to want to set auto brakes to, I'd say, two for this runway. Note that the land three enunciator has come on. Now that we've landed, just taxi off of the runway and head to the gate. Now that we're at the gate, the first thing we're going to do is turn off the engines. And now, since we're still going to need power for the plane, turn on the APU. Other than that, it's just a matter of configuring the plane for its next flight. I'll talk to you later.